Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the Jo Malone Advent Calendar. If you checked out my recent vlog, I mentioned in that video that I knew I wanted to get one more Advent Calendar this year, and I was torn between the Jo Malone or the Dior, but the Dior I felt as though it was so expensive and there were so many like little trial size samples. I just wasn't sure if it was worth the money, so I happened to be in Saks Fifth Avenue. They were having a beauty event where the beauty products were 15% off, plus I had my $75 gift card that I obtained on Black Friday, so I was able to save 15% off, and I was able to use my $75 gift card. So this actually retails for $485, which is kind of steep. But I was able to save 15% plus get my $75 gift card. So I got it for, I want to say it was around $350, $360, you know, something around that. So a little bit better of a deal. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing all of the contents. I have no idea what to expect. I can tell you my favorite Jo Malone scents are Orange Blossom. I love Nectarine Blossom and Honey. I'm definitely more of a citrusy girl. So I am praying and I am hoping that some of those scents are in here. I also like wood sage and sea salt and I know that there is also a snow globe so I'm really excited about that. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get right into this Jo Malone Advent Calendar unboxing. Okay, here is what the advent calendar looks like. I have no idea the contents that are inside. I actually tried to look on the Jo Malone website, but they didn't really have much of a description. I think they did have a list, but they didn't have like a description of each item. So this will be a surprise to both of us. So it opens like this and I like how there are all of these little boxes, which is going to make it nice and easy to open. And then you also open this little drawer right here so we are just gonna start with day one and get right into it okay so let's just pull this out here and you can see it has little tissue paper and then oh it does it does come with a little booklet and in the little booklet it'll tell you a little bit about each item and it'll have it this is the spoiler alert so I will keep that over to the side so open this. The first item right here is Jo Malone. This is white moss and snowdrop. I have actually never heard of this. So let's see. Let me spray. Mm, this is a nice um, cologne. And one really neat thing about Jo Malone, if you guys weren't aware, you can, it can be used for men or women. And the beautiful thing too is you can combine the scents to kind of create your own. So this first one, let me read you what the spoiler alert says so I can give you a little more detail about it in case you guys are interested. So this says white moss and snowdrop cologne, let it snow, step into a winter wonderland with this crisp fragrance and a limited edition snowball design. Snowdrop petals peeking through powdery snow, green forest fresh moss, iridescent under winter sunlight. So this reminds me um, definitely a little more of a manly scent and it definitely smells very similar to the holidays. So if you guys are into that, definitely consider this one. Okay, now let's go to two, and two is up here. And same situation, it is wrapped in the tissue paper. Okay, so this one, oh, it comes in a black bottle. This is Scarlet Poppy, so let me spray this. I'm just gonna spray it on the tissue paper. Oh, Scarlet Poppy, that's really nice. I feel like I have seen this in stores but I have never tried it. It definitely smells nice. So this is described as, it's the most wonderful time of year to start a new fragrance ritual, especially with this sweetly decadent and Moorish cologne intense, a ravishing floral scent inspired by extravagant poppies and amplified by velvety iris. So that's really nice. It's definitely a floral scent. If you guys know anything about me, I prefer fruity scents. My, my favorite scent is Nectarine Blossom and Honey, and I also like Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So like this bottle, this is intense. So put this back here. 
Okay, now we are up to number three, and this box is a little bit bigger, but it looks like the bottle is probably about the same size, so. This is lime, basil, and mandarin. Ooh, this seems like it'd be right up my alley. I've actually never smelled this either. Oh, so that is definitely very citrusy. If you're into citrusy colognes, you might really enjoy this. Let me read this to you. It says, be the life and soul with this uplifting citrus fragrance, peppery basil. Yes, that's exactly what I smell. I smell the pepper. Peppery basil and aromatic white thyme bring an unexpected twist to the scent of limes. Yes, lime and pepper, that's, that's a good description. A zesty modern classic to put a zing in your step. So that's the next one. So far we have all little trial sizes. And let's go to four right here. Oops. Okay. All right. It looks like another little travel size. This one is Honeysuckle and Divana Cologne. Okay. Now, I definitely like Nectarine Blossom and Honey. So, let's see how Honeysuckle smells. Ooh, I really like that. Oh, that smells nice, you guys. I like that. Okay. Let me read you the description of this one. So this says, spread the Christmas cheer with this happy floral. Yes, that's a good way to describe it, a happy floral. Give your usual signature scent a joyful twist by layering it with a spritz of honeysuckle and divana to add blooming floral notes with a warm, sunny twist. This is really, really nice. It is floral, but I definitely can smell the honeysuckle. So it smells good. And let's go ahead and put this box back. And now we're at number five. Uh, five where are we? Number five, am I, oh, number five, right in front of my face. If it was a snake, it would have bitten me. All right, so what do we have in here? Ooh, this is something different. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. So this is Red Roses Shaped Soap. Every good host knows that it's all in the details. Add a luxurious touch to the guest bathroom with this scented soap inspired by a voluptuous blend of seven of the world's most exquisite roses. So let's go ahead and open this so you can see. I'm wondering if it's shaped like a rose. Let's see. Nope, it is. That would have been nice if it was shaped like a rose, but it just says uh, Jill Malone London. It has the initials on it, but it still smells good. So if you like the rose scent, you might enjoy that. All right, so let's move to number six here. Okay, number six. This one is kind of heavy. Ooh, oh, I hope this is a candle. I hope it's a candle. I love candles. Okay, so it is a candle. This is pine and eucalyptus. Mmm, really nice. So this is, this is a pine and eucalyptus travel candle. The scent of Christmas morning, it definitely smells like that. Keep your limited edition candle elegant at all times by snipping the wick to a quarter of an inch before every burn and say goodbye to sooty residue. Really nice. Uh, I love candles. Uh, this is nice for Christmas for sure. So I'm glad they're changing it up a little bit and you get some candles in here. Alrighty, number seven right here. Let's see. I wonder if this is going to be another. Yep, it looks like it's going to be another fragrance, but let's see which one this is. Okay, this is Fig Lotus and Flower Cologne. Believe it or not, I have not tried this either, so let's just give. Okay, that is. Ooh, what am I smelling there? Let's. let's look at the description because I am not always the best at describing cologne. So this says festive fact, luscious fig and lotus flower was inspired by stories of the ancient hanging gardens. I was drawn to the romance and picturesque nature of this tale. Celine Rue, global head of fragrance. So this is really nice fig and lotus, um, definitely unique and different. So that's good. If you want to try this out so far, this is good. If you guys have been wanting to test out some of the Joe Malone scents. This is a good way to do that. So what are we on now? Number eight, number eight, right here. And it feels like we're going to have another little fragrance here. Oh, okay. So this is 
oh, I'm going to butcher the name, Myr and Tonka, Cologne and Temps. Oh, that's nice. I'm telling you, these would be some good stocking stuffers for my husband too. So this says, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> this says a captivating woody cologne intense, perfect for men who wanna make a statement. The rich hand harvested sap of the Namibian myrrh tree mingling with the warm almond and lush vanilla notes of the tonka bean. Very nice. Again, this could be a good stocking stuffer for my husband here. Let's put that back and let's look for numero nine right here. This feels, oops, this feels like it might be another candle. Oh no, I'm wrong. This is, oh, yay. Oh, I'm so excited that <laughs> I got a scent I really like. Wood, sage, and sea salt. This is the body cream. This is one of my favorites, you guys. I love this. Oh, so Okay, so if you guys aren't familiar with it, it definitely smells like you're like walking on a beach, but let me just read you the notes. So there's nothing better to follow a warm bath than this indulgent body cream. The rich formula helps to moisturize and nourish skin while the spirited fragrance leaves the body scented. So this is so nice. It really is. It's a really good summer fragrance. I love taking it to the beach with me. I do have the cologne and I think I also have the hand, hand cream and the soap, but this is the body cream. So you get a little size. This is 0.5 fluid ounces. Okay. All right, number 10 is right here. All right, and this is, feels like another fragrance. My little filming space is gonna smell so good because I'm like having so many of these. Okay, dark amber and ginger lily cologne intense. Okay, let's see what amber smells like. Well, that's, that's definitely nice. It smells very woody. Let's see. Um, a sensual scent for dark winter nights, rare Kayara wood prized in the Koda ceremony, the Japanese art of incense appreciation, enriched with amber and black orchid, illuminated by this clean sensuality of black cardamom, ginger, and water lily. Okay, so that's nice. Again, I definitely have a preference for citrusy scents so I haven't seen anything like smell anything I really really like so far other than the honeysuckle and divana so what number were we on number 11 oh this is a big one I wonder what this will be right here I have no idea what this is oh it might be like a little hand cream I hope so okay oh peony and blush Suede. This is a really, really popular scent. It's a body and hand lotion, but how cute is this for your purse? Well, looking for a scent that is uniquely yours, after applying this opulent floral body and hand lotion, follow it with a spritz of your favorite cologne for a flirtatious finishing touch. My grandmother loves the peony scent, so I got her this one Christmas and she loved it. So I love this again to put in your purse. So that was day 11. All right, let's move over to number 12 right here. And you know I'm excited because I know there is a snow globe in here somewhere. All right, here we have another, okay, this is Blackberry and Bay. Ooh, Blackberry, that sounds like that would smell nice, so. Ooh, okay, I definitely, I definitely can smell the Blackberry. So this says a fruity favorite for a hint of nostalgia, childhood memories of blackberry picking, a burst of deep tart blackberry juice. Yes, it's very, it's not a sweet blackberry. It's more of a tart for sure. So that's a good way to describe it. A burst of deep tart blackberry juice blending with the freshness of just gathered bay and brambly woods, vibrant and verdant. So that is blackberry and Blackberry and Bay for number 12, and we are gonna move to 13. Why can't, oh, here we go, 13. It's right here, right in front of my face, again. <laughs> right, what is this? Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is cute. What is this here? It looks like a little snowball of some sorts. Okay, so it has a little snowball key rings so you guys can i be completely honest with you i got like the two 
big snowballs in part of the wrapping so I feel like this was kind of a filler I mean I guess it's cute but I don't know if I'm really gonna use that like I got this was included but I got both of these free in the packaging so that was kind of disappointed by that I feel like they could have maybe included another scent another maybe lotion or something but I guess they're trying to be a little different so that is the next one you get a little snowball Okay, on to number 14, right here. Let's see what this is. It feels like it's another cologne. This one is Velvet Rose and Oud Cologne Intense. So I'm not much of a rose person, but let's see. Okay, that definitely, definitely smells very cologne-y, if you know what I mean. So this is the perfect accessory to your party outfit. It definitely does smell like a night out. Get dressed up for the occasion with the darkest damask rose, rich and textural, wrapped with smoky oud wood, spiked with clove, decadent with praline. Okay, so I like that dark bottle. All right, let's go to number 15, which is up here. I like the surprise. What would this be? Oh, this kind of feels like this would be another lotion, another hand cream. Oh, lime, basil, and mandarin. I do like this one. It says, shake off the winter chill with a warm shower and a squeeze of uplifting body and hand wash. The rich lather will help to leave your body and hands feeling conditioned and soft. Try pairing it with another bath and body product in the same scent. Okay, so that was day 15. Let's go to 16 over here feels like this is going to be another cologne Ooh. and this is peony and blush suede so again this is a favorite this is very very popular tailor your scent to your mood layer peony and blush suede with a spritz of wood sage and sea salt cologne the combination creates an opulent floral and wrapped with woody warmth luxurious with a touch of suede and that's one thing i was saying that i read that it's really you can layer these to kind of create peony blush suede is a really nice floral scent if you're into that so it's good that they included that because i know that is uh, because i know that one is very popular go on to 17 just back here Ooh, this feels like this is another candle oh yes uh, myrrh and tonka so add the finishing touch to your Christmas table with a cologne intense mini candle to create a sensuous atmosphere so yes so if you like the myrrh and tonka scent you get this uh, black candle here all right and let's go to number 18. 18. oh my gosh it's right in front of my face sorry guys all right this feels like another cologne here and this one is red roses cologne oh i'm not a fan of roses but yep if you like roses actually i'm okay with that i'm not really a huge like rose scented person but if you like roses you'll definitely like this it just says the essence of modern romance wear it or share it it is the season of giving after all so roses like i said i'm definitely more of a citrus person so let's go to 19. okay 19. is another oud and bergamot cologne intense there are a lot of like cologne okay so that definitely smells more of like a cologne i have a lot that i could definitely put in my husband's stocking that's for sure so this is oud and bergamot cologne intense from flower markets to jungles and vast deserts the cologne intense collection travels the world collecting treasured ingredients to create opulent and unexpected scents so this is kind of a little more of a manly, like woody scent. So let's go to 20 right here. Oh, I really hope they include, I love orange blossom or nectarine blossom and honey. I hope they include one of those. Okay, what is this? Um, Jasmine, Sandbach, and Marigold. Let's see. Okay, that's nice. I smell the Jasmine. Jasmine, Sandbach, and Marigold. Marigold flower with its fruity notes is the perfect complement to Jasmine Sandbach. Together they capture the vibrancy of an Indian flower market. 
is nice. I can definitely smell the jasmine and that smells good. All right, we're 20, what are we? 21, 21 is right here. This feels like a candle. And we have, ooh, lime, basil, and mandarin. If you like this scent, you would love this little candle here. And I love candles. I'm constantly burning candles. So this is definitely um, citrusy, which I like. So there's that one. Okay. Next, we have 22. This feels like another fragrance. Please be one I like. Yay! Wood, sage, and sea salt. One of my favorites. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. I love this one, you guys. It smells delicious. Like I said, wood, sage, and sea salt, nectarine blossom, and honey, and orange blossom are my absolute favorites. This is so good. I'm so glad I got this. I can keep this in my purse. Very nice. All right, now let's go to 23. And I know there's a snow globe in here. I'm just I'm thinking it's probably 25, but I could be wrong. Oh, maybe this is it. Oh, this is 23. What is this? Oh, is it the snow globe? I'm so excited about it. It is. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Look. Wait a minute. There's nothing in it. Okay, so here's the snow globe. Jo Malone London. It just has sparkles, although it will match my... Um, my little filming space so I thought for sure they would put something in it like don't you think that would have been cute if they put like a little fragrance bottle in there oh I'm kind of kind of disappointed about that but it's just an empty snow globe so okay all right <laughs> let's move on let's see if it says anything in the book it just says shake things up a bit with this snow globe try it on your mantelpiece a side table or by the tree so I will definitely display that but again I was very hopeful there was something in it so alrighty okay we are down to the last two there's 24 okay this is ooh, English pear and freesia body and hand wash so this says it's Christmas Eve and the excitement is building after all those preparations take time to pamper yourself with this mellow fruity scent before switching back to party mode okay so this is a nice scent you can use this kind of maybe in your bathroom in your kitchen very cute or you can even take it with you when you travel so that was uh, 24 and then we come to 25 this is the last one. Oh, this feels like oh this is a full size you guys that's exciting what will it be oh okay so English pear and freesia English pear and freesia full-size cologne Okay, that smells nice. I think this is one of their more popular ones. And it says, a special day calls for one of our favorite scents, luscious and golden. Style your Christmas outfit with a spritz of English pear and freesia and let the festivities begin. Okay, all right, well, you got a full size. That smells nice. Okay, guys, here you go. This is everything that was in the advent calendar. I definitely think this would be a good calendar for someone if you want to kind of try out the brand try out the different scents but I will be honest I am a little bummed for a couple of reasons number one they didn't really have a lot of the scents I liked like I do like wood sage and sea salt but like orange blossom is one of my favorites nectarine blossom and honey they have a lot of like sampler scents but I don't know I'm just not really a fan of a lot of the scents they included I do like that they put some candles in here but um, and then you have the soap but then like I said this little snowball keychain I know they're trying to change it up but I feel like it might be a little cheap because you did get the larger pom-poms when they wrapped it up so had they not wrapped it up in that and I got the two bigger ones I might not be complaining but you just get this little one and then the snow globe this is cute but there's nothing in it don't you think that would have been so cute if there was like a perfume bottle in there or something like that so anyway so those are the contents I do think it's a little pricey I mean it was $485 but again I didn't pay that because I got the 15% off plus I got the $75 gift card to use now I will be honest with you had I paid full price I don't think it's worth it I honestly 
I guess it's all relative, but for me personally, knowing all the contents, I don't know that I would purchase again it again. Now, if they did include some of the scents that I liked a lot more, like orange blossom, nectarine blossom, and honey, a little more like fruity scents, I think I might like it more, but I don't know. I'm a little disappointed. However, I do like the packaging of it and... If this is something that you wanted to buy to try out the brand, try out the different scents, it would be good. But I would recommend, I wish there was a fragrance in here. I think this was kind of just like a filler. And I wish the scents were a little more fruity. But that is just my opinion. Now, I would love to know your thoughts. I have not watched any other videos on this. So if you guys did, let me know your thoughts. Are people enjoying this? Are people not? I don't really like to watch other videos if I know I'm about to film a video like this just because I want it to be kind of my opinion on it. So I don't know guys, I'm okay with the fact that I purchased it since I got a discount, but I don't think that I would purchase it full price if I had to do it all over again. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Oh,